these two leak. So we're replacing those two. Those are not Y strainers. They look like it, but they're not. They are basically flow valves, circuit setters, whatever you want to call it. I'll give you a little more information about them here in a second. And then this one, this one leaks. Yes, that's CPVC. The whole building is CPVC. It's crazy. So basically what those valves are, uh, are circuit setter flow valves, but they're a little bit different than a typical circuit setter. I soldered these up yesterday. Um, so they are Griswold K valves and they are flow valves that are set by the factory, by Griswold, and you can't adjust them like a traditional circuit setter where you can adjust it and uh, set it to what you want. Which, in my opinion, I would say the adjustable ones are better, but if you have a bunch of these in a building like this, and they're everywhere in this building, they're everywhere. Uh, I don't think you could have just regular circuit setters because you'd have to have somebody here setting them on a regular basis and adjusting them. So I think they opt to use these automatic. Griswold call, calls these automatic flow valves, and they call and they call the traditional circuit setter valves uh, manual flow valves. That's what the guy at Griswold was referring to them as. Uh, but yeah, they have these everywhere, and they're they're all set to a 0 0.50 flow rate. The whole building, they're all 0 0.50. So I ordered these from Griswold and they messed it up. And they sent me, this is a five gallon flow rate. So, but I called them and they said, okay, my, our bad, uh, you can replace these cartridges right here. So they're, they, they got these in the mail to me. So I'm gonna install these today because we got a building shut down and um, then I'll come back and do the uh, cartridges, but I'll show you what's inside of these so you get an idea of how they are. So before I show you how the K valves look inside, I'm draining the, uh, draining the building. The uh, water main is on the first floor. Actually, it's in the garage and uh, we're on the roof, so this really did not take much time at all to drain these down. Because luckily those K valves are on the seventh floor, the top floor. Um, so I could probably cut those already because there's no water coming out of these. So, all right. Turn the, you gotta turn the boilers off. The longest part of this job is gonna be bleeding all the air out of those, out of the lines that go to the boiler, boilers. Uh, okay, so. All right, let me get situated. Draining the building down, or the top floor, I should say. So this is a uh, a state subsidized homeless housing, and at one time it was very nice in here. 
This video doesn't do it justice, but it is an absolute mess in here. It's just like people just don't care, man. You give them free stuff and they take it for granted. And there's bugs everywhere, flies, gnats everywhere. It's crazy. Anyway, waiting for that to drain a little bit. And then we'll cut this up here. Oh, look at this. Oh, I thought that was a leak. That's just pee. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Okay, I could not film this because there is zero space. I even had to open this up. And uh, not much I could do on this one. I had to cut that back. That's a new adapter. And then I just put this on its side. And I had to put the uh, ball valves on the top because there's just no, there's just no room. So, but that's basically it. Okay, and we got these two. These two are done. Luckily, there was some play this way. So I could push those out and then pull them back in. That was, uh, it doesn't look like much, but that was the hardest job I've done all year, for sure. No question about it. So, uh, but I can't turn the water back on because I had to glue that CPVC over there. And I had to do a minimum six hours, so. Uh, but I got one of the old K valves I'll take back with me and and open it up and show you. This is one of the K valves I cut out. <clears throat> I meant to show you one of the new ones, but I forgot. These are very hard to get off. But basically, all these are is has the uh, cartridge, the nut, has a spring, and then these things right here are what are preset. And if you look, you probably can't see it. Let me see. I can't see anything, dude. But the water flows in through this way and there's a small channel that goes up and then it comes out this side and to get that out you just have to uh, that's all that's in there So at the factory, since these are considered automatic flow valves, this is what they set. And don't ask me the specifics of that, um, but I'm sure they have these in everything from 0 .50, which, which is what this is, all the way up to 10 probably. I know they have up to five, at least, five gallons per minute. This is 0 .50 gallons per minute. Uh, I didn't really look at the difference between this one and the other ones, but ultimately this is what controls the flow.
So, there you go, Griswold K-Valves. That's what these are.